let's talk a little bit about new players, beginning players, and how to get them excited about water polo. It's not going to be swimming a ton of laps. Is that an important skill? Yes. But there are lots of ways to get really great swimming involved with the players in the game of water polo. Okay? We can keep the, the practice designed in short increments, three to five minutes, to keep their attention span and change the drill often. You'll get a lot of work out of the kids and they'll be begging to come back the next day. To give you an idea, the skills that we talk about, the hand transfer, add three or four strokes of swimming. You can use the whole field of play, have them do three strokes and pick the ball up. Time it for a minute and a half. The next time you go down, three or four strokes, they pick the ball up and they do a 360 all around the swimming area. Not only are they swimming around, but they're having to avoid their teammates, they're understanding awareness and where things are. You can even have them trigger with a clock, with a horn, start getting them used to a whistle, all the different things in the game. Just keep it fresh and keep it tight. That's what's gonna get the kids excited about water polo. So getting swimming conditioning is really important because at every age, the faster you can swim, the better you're gonna be at water polo. But you can get in a lot of good swimming training while having the kids have a lot of fun playing with the ball. That's why they really are in water polo. They, they love being in the pool, but they also love having the ball in their hands. This is a great way to sort of get the swimming training in while the players don't even realize that they're doing it. They're having a lot of fun. They're getting tired, but it doesn't, it doesn't seem like a chore. And there's a number of things we can do here. So we'll just go over a couple drills here real quick. Some of these drills kids absolutely love and are dying to do day after day. All right, so the first one is just a couple quick strokes and a hand transfer, and then a couple quick strokes. So I'm gonna couple quick strokes, pick up the ball, throw it down, couple quick strokes. A lot of times the kids just love to try and throw that ball as far as they can and sprint to it as quick as they can. So the kid will get the ball up, throw it as far as they can, sprint to it. Okay, so you can really get a number of variations. Next time they can do it, same thing, throw the ball, sprint to it. Okay, five or 10 taps back and forth, throw it again, sprint to it. Another drill they can do is add in a, a 360 spin. So throw the ball, sprint to it, 10 taps, 360 spin, one time or two times. There's a constant variation as a coach. You can use your own creativity, think up new things, new drills, but really the idea is keeping it fresh, giving the kids new drills, and having them being excited about it. That'll make for a great conditioning part of the workout.